Hey guys, this is an example video where I'm just going to be doing examples of the order of operations. So in this video, I'm going to go through these three examples. So if there's a particular one that you're interested in, you can just fast forward to that. Or you could also use this as a way to quiz yourself. You know, you can pause the video, try these, and then hit play when you're ready. So let's just get right to it. So starting with this first one, um, so with the order of operations, so we have to start with the parentheses first. And so inside of this set of parentheses, we're going to start with just this 2 times 3. So this will be 10 minus 3, and then this will be 1 plus 6. And then I can just write the rest of this down like that. Okay, now I'm not done with the order of operations uh, inside the parentheses still, so I still got to do that 1 plus 6 first. So now this is going to be 10 minus 3 times 7 right, this whole thing's just seven now, minus two squared times four. Okay, so now that I'm done with that, so now as I look through the whole problem, the next thing that would have to happen next would be the exponent right here. So we will work on this part. So this is 10 minus three times seven minus four times four. Okay, and so now you'll notice here, so this, here and this here, these are both multiplication. So this is just a different way to write multiplication. So as I move from left to right, I'm gonna do this part here. So this is 10 minus 21 minus four times four. And then I'm going to do, let's see, I'll use the pink color again. I'm gonna do this four times four. So this is 10 minus 21 minus 16. And so now we can just continue to work through this. So 10 minus 21, let's see, I'll go, this is 10 minus 21, that's negative 11. And then negative 11 minus 16, this is negative 17. Okay, so if you were working all of this out and you made a mistake, like if you're doing the pure order of operations, these really should have been the steps that you follow. There's not a lot of wiggle room with this if you're truly trying to follow the order of operations. So if you didn't get the right answer, it might be because you didn't show enough work. And so that just takes practice. It's like once you get in the habit of writing out all your work, it gets a lot um, like easier to kind of find your mistake. So if you didn't start the problem over, try it again. Um, and then, you know, maybe back up so you can't see the solution and then see if you can kind of get to the same thing. Okay, so moving on to B here. So now we've got two sets of parentheses. So let's just start with this one. And so this one I actually talked about a very similar problem in my order of operations um, explanation video, my lesson video. So first things first, we're going to deal with the exponent inside the parentheses first. So we are going to start here. And notice I'm not worried about anything else with this. So don't let your brain try to um, like throw you off and say, oh, I've got to deal with this squared thing now. Technically, you don't yet, right? You've got to first just deal with all of this. OK, so the next thing I've got to do is now my addition and subtraction from left to right inside this set of parentheses. So the 1 plus 4, that is just going to equal 5. Okay, like this, and I haven't touched this other set of parentheses yet. And then the five minus the three, this is two uh, squared. Okay, all right, so now I have another set of parentheses to work through here. I do also have to deal with this exponent, but you know, if we're if we're dealing with strict PEMDAS here, we're trying to really follow the order of operations, let's get this set of parentheses done first and then we'll come back to this exponent. Okay, so working through this set of parentheses, what do I have to do first? I have to do the negative two times three. So this right here, this is just negative six. So I'll write everything else down again. So two squared plus five minus, uh, five times four minus six. Okay, so now I've got to do 4 minus 6, so I need to just do this part right here. So this is 4 minus 6 is negative 2. Okay, and so now I've, I've dealt with the parentheses as far as I possibly can, as much as I can. 
I need some extra space here, so I'm going to clear out a couple of lines here. So write anything down if you need it. Okay, so now here's where we're at. What do I do next in this? So we got the parentheses done. Next it would be the exponents, so right here. So up next we're going to evaluate this. So this is going to be 3 times 4 now. Or you could write the 4 in parentheses, whatever you want. Okay, and then I've got this. Now I've got to deal with the multiplication. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. So this is 5. You can call this either 5 minus 10 or 5 plus negative 10. It's the same thing. So I'll write this out as 5 plus negative 10, but it doesn't matter. If you wanted to write 12 minus 10, that's fine. Um, okay, so 12 plus negative 10, now that just equals 2, and that's the answer. So now for this last one. Um, so there's a fraction here. Don't let it throw you off. So again, if your brain starts kind of going off saying like, oh, there's all this other stuff I have to do, really think about the order of operations. So you have to start with the parentheses first. So first I'm just going to start with this 5 plus 8, or sorry, 5 plus 3, which is 8. So this is 1 half now times 8. And now we're going to deal with the other set of parentheses. So 5 minus 6, this part right here, this is 1 half times 8 minus 2 squared times negative 1. Oops, and I'll put that negative 1 in gold just to keep my color coding scheme. Okay, so now looking at this, um, the next thing we have to do is the exponent. So that would be this part right here. So notice I'm not even thinking about the fraction at the moment. I'm just kind of following along with that order of operations. So this is negative 4 times negative 1. So now I've got to deal with the multiplication. So 1 half times 8, what is half of 8? Half of 8 is just 4. So this is 4 minus 4 times negative 1. Okay, so now we're almost done. So n notice that this is a negative here. So this is negative 4 times negative 1. So all of this is going to become 4 plus 4. And now your final answer is 8. And so that'll do it for this example video, guys. If you have any other questions or you want me to do some other ones, feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in another video. Thanks for watching.